Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome back to the Sunless Sea. We have quite a few things that need to get done today. First of all, we're going to be heading north to Venderbite, where we're going to turn in our eyeless skull and get something worth about a thousand echoes, which will be great. Also, we get to advance that little storyline a bit with a new color, which I have not seen before. Viric or Irigo, if I recall correctly. Just one moment, please. Oh, and right, he's under officers, isn't he? Ah, there you are. Irigo. Wonderful. I don't know what the effects of Irigo light are, but we'll find out, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be fine. It'll all be just fine. Of course, we're going to be stopping at the sisters just to collect a little bit of supplies. And I just realized now that I did not repair my ship like I thought I had done already. Well, that's unfortunate. But we'll be fine. There's not it's not like there's a bunch of threats out in the Z, especially since we're gonna be going to Palmerston later. It'll be fine. Get our little port report. And they're not receiving visitors, are they? Well, this set of recent news says they are. The glim lamp at the prow fizzes and arcs. I don't know what that means. Ooh, is that maybe a way of telling what Random number is assigned to the something awaits you quality? It could be. It could be. Well, in any case, as always, Phoebe here giving us a little bit more of Storm. Storm's attention, rather. Oh, boy. So, backward. Back towards Vendor Bite. I'm noticing there's a bit of an echo. Huh. I might have some problems with this. We'll deal with that later, though. For now. We're just going to head north a little bit more northerly. Letting the terror build up, because it's fine. Look, the crew can be terrified all they like, as long as they don't mutiny, which doesn't happen until we're at terror 100. So, you know what? A little bit of fear in them, it's not going to hurt me that much. Although, getting these... How did I not find Carissa's point before? Ugh. Extra fragments, though. Always useful. Always useful. And I'm just now seeing my portrait, which, um... Huh. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. But like I said, we're gonna go to... Venderbite, where all the corpses go, then we're gonna go to hell, where all the souls go, it'll be fine. Oh, right, I forgot about your shady sword. Ugh, completely lost track of that. Let's explore a little bit. Find our bandaged poisonier. Could recruit him as a... Hmm. Could recruit him as a cook. It is a little bit expensive, but then again, he does give us some extra stats. Um, I mean, yeah, well, look, we're going to get a thousand echoes, right? And then I'm going to spend about 500 to make 1500. So yeah, we can afford this. The bandaged poisoner has long wished to travel, but you'll need to outfit the galley to his exacting standards. Ah, my captain, the things we will catch that we will consume, that we will experience. We will discover the seventh sensation, you and I. The taste that one tastes with the heart. You there, sailor, careful with the brazing alembic. It's worth more than your wretched soul. And, hmm. Can we go back to the restaurant, though? Hmm. We could. Interesting. Very interesting. But, back to what we came here to do. The first curator. Hello. Give it your eyeless skull. Yes, I want to forget. Ooh. Awaiting pedestal. At its direction, you place the skull atop a dripstone pedestal. A stalagmite once, now carved with crockets and grimacing faces. Irigo sparks crawl across it. For a moment, you forget what you were doing. Thank you, the curator whispers. Perhaps you've saved me from the sanatorium, and perhaps the emergence will be less painful. 
Its chest pulses feebly. You accept a single huge black pearl. The curator's fancies grow worse, but it pays well. Interesting. A less painful emergence? What's going to be emerging? Is he... It, look, is it going to be like a face hugger kind of thing that pops out of his chest? No. Um, huh. I'm intrigued by this. I'm also intrigued by the effect that Irigo Light had on me. Like I started to forget things? Hmm. Hmm. You have me interested. But, oh, not the... I want the map. So, what we're looking for is Palmerston, which is usually near Demos Island, but, I mean, I can't imagine that'd be this... Could it be this far south? I guess it could be. I mean, it is all randomly generated at this point. So, could be. Could be. Oh, dear. But we'll see what's going on there. And I mean... Yeah, we'll just go to Palmerston. We'll drop off what we need to drop off, pick up what we need to pick up, and... Oh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. No. We will have none of that. Ah, and we got there quick enough for you to be useful. Delightful. So, oh, that's a fair point. I mean, if I can't sell the rat, which I guess would be technically slavery, wouldn't it be? Oh, that'd be terrible. In any case, if I can't sell them, I might as well use them. Vast eye, it knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. Wonderful. Well, maybe we just dive into the nightmare this time. Maybe. Maybe not. Keep that clear. I want to turn off the lights, though. Lights are a bit of an issue. Eh, salt lions. Do we have enough hold space? We almost do. We almost have enough space. Maybe on the way back we'll pick up... Uh... Yeah, maybe on the way back we'll pick up some... Uh... Sphinx Stone. Make a little extra money on the trip. Oh dear. I'm sorry, since I've been recording until dawn, I've noticed I've been much, much more nervous. That game, oof. But we can fight through it. We'll be fine. Because this is the Sunless Sea, where everything is just delightful. So, Cloud Bank, not really where I want to be going. Um, and still no islands. This is. It's very peculiar. Maybe I should have gone further north. Although I'm almost positive Palmerston should always be near. Demo. Unless. Unless I'm wrong and it just always shows up in the same place in the north. Which I suppose is possible. Yeah, I'm just seeing Shepherd Isle is a long way to the southeast. Which, don't get me wrong, it's useful, but it's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm going to try going north. I'll just give it a shot. How far north do we have to go? A little bit north. Eh, a little bit far. Let's light up this island. Crash into the island as well. Unfortunate, but oh. Um, what are you? You look new. Nothing of interest? Okay. Well, oh. A light ship. This far out. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I guess we're not that far out. We're still quite a bit near London. Um, mm, that fuel cost. It'll be fine. We got rid of our news, so we don't really have much option. 
but I'm sure it's all just fine and dandy. And there's another island we've illuminated. Looking good, looking good. Uh, that relaxing music, it's like coming home. Uh, but yes. So, Palmerston? Bright. Ugh. Well, we found Frost found. It's not very much use to us now. Although... Hmm... We're at a position where we might be able to get to the core of Frost found. The problem is we don't have the equipment necessary to actually do anything with that. We need, like, all of our stats to be 100 or some insane thing like that. Ooh, but we can get our tireless mechanic back. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Wonderful. I'm not going to enter Frostfound. I know what happens if I do that. But uh, I can have tea with them. Get a little bit of fuel, a little bit of supplies. Good. Oh, and... Uh, wait, what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, hit the wrong button there. No, we are not going into Frostfound today. Thank you, but no, we will not be doing that. Don't get me wrong, you're a lovely place, and I love the story, but... Oh, that is just such a bad idea. Simply terrible. And unfortunately, I need to find Bright and Deneb. Or Teneb. Oh, come on, just find Bright. There we go. All right, so we found Bright, and we found Teneb, hopefully, just so they're no longer on our map. Or rather, so that our little bat no longer just says, Oh, by the way, there's Teneb and Bright over here. You should see them. They're great. They are kind of fantastic structures. And I mean, look at this pathway. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. But more to the point, I want to find Palmerston. Mount Palmerston, rather. And I'm gonna need to turn off the lights, because... I mean, only six fuel... Oh dear, that that's that's not good. I see that living iceberg. I don't want nothing to do with it. But I see it. Okay. So... Palmerston... Find me some devils. Looking for the devil down in the deep, deep Z. Ah, uh, we got a little bit of a snow slash ash storm. The ragged crow is a long way to the east. That, that's not, that's not useful to me. We enter storm bones. Saint Elegius sends his fire to dance in the air. On deck, very far away, we see the great light of the ragged crow. I can't remember, can I dock there? I don't think I can. I think the Ragged Crow is just this very oddly designed lamp. Looks technological. What the heck is that? The Tyrant Moth? Um, uh, no thank you. I think I am quite alright without that. I don't need that in my life. I really don't need that in my life at all. But the, why is there a moth? Let, let's uh, up the speed on that. Guys, uh, please start moving faster. Please start moving faster. Jesus Christ, I am not going to dive to a damn moth this early on. Okay, all clear. Let the engine temperature go down. Oh. <sighs> Can flee the nightmare, no problem. Dreams have passed, wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So yeah, the Tyrant Moth, that's new. I've never seen that thing before. Like 500 health and the thing takes like, what was that, 30 damage per hit? Oh man, that is gonna cause all sorts of problems later on. And why are we still at 
half speed. What is this? What has caused this to be the case? Like, am I just missing something here? Like, why is why are we locked down at half speed? I guess because the hull damage, maybe. But, like, what? Ah, oh, that is just the worst. I don't... Oh, if I go back to London, doesn't that... Doesn't that mean I'll be effectively rejecting the job from the pirates? Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nonetheless, they all hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z, Captain. It'll be luck for us. We'll be careful about things. A diamond glints once as it reaches the apex of its arc. Down, down, and a wave reaches up to take it. Okay. A little less terror. Hopefully that's enough to get at least one of the gods on my side. And Port Cecil is to the southwest, so I'm going entirely the wrong way. Um, well, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, going at this speed, though, is really, really getting irritating. Like, why did it even happen? I don't understand. And apparently we found the wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang and Port Cecil. With its discordant music and just generally being a terrible place. That's a fine place. What am I saying? It's a decent place. Oh dear. But yeah, could... I'm going to have to look up why I'm at half speed now, because I have seven crewmates, crew members. So, shouldn't I be at full speed still? Uh, I guess when you get down to less than half health, it just knocks it out. And there's a more eel. Great. Well. Oh, dear. A little bit of chest to calm us down, I think. A little more chest to calm us down. Ah, what the heck, even more. More. Alright, let's see about this Coral Nola route around them. Oh? In amber, some disturbance of the undersea has brought sunken ruins up out of the water, but these stones were lost beneath more than the sea. They're half encased in a smooth, translucent orange substance like amber. Even as you watch the ruins groan and shiver, the convulsions that brought them up will soon take them below again. We could examine them, which is only a 50% chance, or we can chip some of the amber away to sell. It's very like the deep amber sold in London, the stuff the squid-faced rubbery men exude. This may be a good haul. Hmm. Yes. Oh my, my, my. A half gold haul. You and your crew swarm over the ambery stuff with hammers and chisels, smashing off chunks and hunks. It powders easily, emitting an unexpected lemony fragrance, and the rising sea washes quantities of it away, but you fill pockets and sacks with it. At last, a rumble rises from below. The amber shudders, and you all scramble clear as it sinks back into the deep. The waters close over it with a tremendous roar and show of foam. Got 220 echoes. Alright. Pretty good haul. Gather our intelligence, though. And... I think we can take another pause here. We have... We have to consider our options. For now, though, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon.